All right, we're out here today to talk about a couple of uh, compact, subcompact uh, pistols that are real popular on the market right now. Of course, with the popularity of uh, concealed carry as well as concealed carry guns, um, a lot of the 380 models are getting a pretty heavy look right now. A lot of people are looking at them. A lot of women are looking at them to carry in their purse. A lot of men are looking at them to carry on their ankles and some even uh, on their waistline if they're wearing shorts or khakis or something like that. And two of the more popular models that are out right now are the Colt Mustang Pocket Light and the 6 Hour P238. Uh, they're chambered in 380 model. We're going to take a real close look at those two today. The Colt Mustang Pocket Light chambered in 380 and the Sig P238 also chambered in 380 are two of the industry's leading guns. Uh, what we're going to do is take a real close look at these today. Both guns are built basically on the 1911 platform. Uh, there are some small changes to it like the safety and of course uh, neither one of them have uh, grip safeties on the back side, the back strap of it, but for the most part they are built on the 1911 platform which it coupled along with the subcompact popularity right now, the 1911's popularity. These two guns are a little bit tough to get your hands on. Uh, there's actually a pretty good backlog for both of them right now. We're lucky enough to have one of each today and we're going to be testing both of them. Chad, Greg, and myself will be shooting this gun. We'll be taking turns shooting it and we'll be grading it on a three-point system based on four different categories. One will obviously be look, not that a gun should be based uh, or judged based on its looks but some people will buy them based on looks, so we're going to talk about that. We'll also do form and fit, how the gun fits in your hand, uh, just the basic form and fit in your hand itself. We'll also look at functionality. Of course, that's a big deal uh, when you're dealing with a self-defense gun because if you're gonna be using it in a critical situation, you wanna make sure that the thing is actually functioning. And of course, accuracy. We'll be shooting at 10 feet today, and uh, we figure that that is probably a pretty optimum self-defense distance in order to shoot from. We will not be shooting deer at 50 yards with this gun, either one of these guns, so uh, we feel like 10 feet is probably a pretty optimum distance for determining accuracy with these two guns. So we're going to get started and uh, see if the Colt Mustang pocket light or the 6R P238 or the gun to buy right now. competition between the Colt Mustang pocket light and the six hour P238. Both guns did pretty good. Uh, I think all three of us were somewhat successful keeping all of the rounds inside the black. We had a flyer every now and then but I think uh, when we talk about our shooting we'll actually know why because uh, one of the guns in particular seemed like it started out a little bit inaccurate and uh, I know a couple of us had to adjust accordingly. But We shot with a 95 grain full metal jacket bullet uh, we're not going to say the manufacturer because they're not giving us any free ammo. So when somebody gives it to us, we'll actually say we shot, but it was 95 grain ammo. Okay, our first shooter was Greg. Greg, the first gun that we shot was the Colt, and the second gun we shot was a six-hour. Uh, we're going to rate these things based on looks, feel and fit, 
function and accuracy. Uh, the first category being looks. What would you say as far as looks? Which gun did you prefer? And give me uh, your grades on those one to three, with three being the best and one being the worst. Uh, well, I personally think the SIG is a little better looking gun. Uh, probably just from aesthetically, I like the non-polished appearance compared to the polished, which shows a lot more prints, things like that. Uh, I tend to not like the kind of goldish looking color of, of the, the Colt. Uh, so I would give the SIG, uh, the three and the Colt, the two. They're both nice looking, nice looking firearms though. Okay, now as far as feel and fit, uh, when you held them and, and grabbed each one for the first time and shot it, and uh, for the sake of full disclosure, these guns were shot and held the first time. We didn't have practice rounds run through them or anything like that, so you actually held it the first time that we shot it. Uh, what did you think of the Colt and the SIG when you actually held it and shot it for the first time? Uh, they both felt good in the hand. Um, it's hard for me to say if one in particular felt a little better. I think in general, uh, I like the way the SIG felt in my hand when I presented it uh, to start the shooting. Uh, the, the sights seem a little more drawn. My eye drew to the sights quicker on the SIG than they would on the Colt. Uh, they both. They both felt good in the hand, but I still have preference for the SIG. So what would you say, one to three, three being the best on both of them, how would you grade each one of them? Uh, again, I uh, believe that the SIG would take a three and the Colt would take a two. Neither okay. Bad. All right, now function. This is where it gets important. Uh, the other two were more aesthetics and feel. Uh, now we're talking about how the gun actually operated. Function-wise, uh, uh, we talked a little bit off camera about this. Um, when you were chambering the Colt, uh, seemed like you might have had a function issue. Tell me, tell me about that. Yes, when I first racked the first round into it, uh, pulling back and release, I actually had a little bit of a hang. It, uh, I had to do it twice to get the first round chambered. Uh, the six hour didn't have that issue at all. Uh, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, and it's a big deal to somebody chambering around if they don't keep one in the, uh, in the pipe whenever they're gonna need it for uh, self-defense. Okay, so for that, I guess with that in mind, how would you rate the, uh, the two guns again, three being best, one being the worst? With that being a pretty relatively big deal, I would say that I would give the uh, SIG a three, no problems at all. Felt good, function-wise, sights look good, down the, down the barrel, um, and I would give the Colt a one on that because if I can't get the first one in, then I'm having an issue. Yeah, and I would honestly have to say if you were being attacked and you had that issue, you'd probably give the Colt a zero if you could. <laughs> uh, let's talk about accuracy now, uh, number four. Uh, how, how, we looked at your, your targets and how you shot. Tell me about the accuracy of each gun. Uh, and when you were acquiring your target, did the bullet land where you were actually aiming? Well, the, uh, the Colt, which was the first time I ever shot it, and actually the first time I ever shot it, was three eighty. Uh, first round, seemed low left. Uh, uh, again, tried to center my target. Thought maybe it was just me, and it was low left again. So I started making adjustments, moving the upper, upper right, and uh, to get it more where I wanted it, but I definitely seemed to me that it was shooting low to the left. Okay. Uh, six hour, first shot, actually dead on center. Uh, it felt good, felt a little more accurate. I did have a few here and there, everything was in the black, but uh, in general, the sights were a lot easier to pick up, and I think that maybe even helped me with my, with my aim. Okay, so let's grade them. Uh, three being best, one being worst. How would you rate the Colt? Uh, the Colt, I would say a half, and I would say a two, and the SIG, I would give it three. Okay. All right, Chad, first time you held either one of these guns, first time you shot either one of these guns. Uh, let's rate these things. Number one, on looks, what would you say, uh, scale of one to three, three being the best and one being the worst, uh, what's your thoughts on these two guns? Uh, overall, I really, I really like the look of the Colt. Uh, to me, it more looks like a 1911. I think the SIG has a little bit more of a look of the some of the poly guns, uh, which would make sense for that brand. Um, overall, I, I'd, I'd go with the Colt as far as looks. Okay, so what would you rate the Colt? Three being I'd, best. I'd give it a two. Okay, and the SIG? The same, same for the SIG, I'd give it a two as well. For different reasons on looks, right? Correct. Okay, now, uh, second rating, uh, feel and fit. Tell me how, you, how the guns felt in your hand when you were shooting them. First time to shoot both of these guns for me. They both felt good in the hand. They both shot very well for me. Uh, as far as shooting goes, I mean, not to say my accuracy was great, but they felt good shooting them. And giving them what rating? Uh, I, 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 
did shoot the SIG a little better. I liked that a little better. I'm going to give the SIG a three. I'm going to give the Colt a two. Okay. Uh, now, again, like we said earlier, uh, this is we're getting into the important rating now, function. Uh, when you shot each one of these guns, uh, did you have any issues as far as function of the weapon operating properly? Uh, Colt was my first gun to shoot. I did have an issue with the chambering the first round. It did, um, did not feed. I had to re-rack it to get the round in the first time. After the rounds had started, we didn't have any misfires or, or bad feeds at that point. But that first round going in did hang up on me. Giving you a rating of the Colt as a what then? I'm going to rate the Colt as a one on, the, on that area. Okay, on function, how about the SIG? Uh, SIG functioned fine, fed the first time, shot uh, well without any issues, so I'll give that one a three. Okay. Last one, accuracy. Uh, how did you feel? Where were your shots landing and were they landing where you intended them to go? Uh, the Colt shot a little low for me. Uh, I think it shot a low for some of the others as well. Uh, I was making adjustments to it as I was shooting throughout the, the rounds, but uh, with practice I think that, that one could be dialed in. The SIG shot better for me right away. Um, I was kind of concentrating a little bit on, on aiming, uh, sight picture and the trigger pull, trying to get the feel of the, the trigger. So I think for the first time shooting these, I think they came out pretty well for me. Okay, let's rate them then. Three to one, three being the best. Uh, three on the SIG and a two on the Colt. Okay, very good. Okay, it's my turn now. Chad and Greg both rated these guns. Uh, they had some pretty good explanations to why they, they shot like they did. And I had some of the same issues that they did as far as how these guns functioned and probably a lot of the same uh, issues as far as looks. Uh, first of all, the Colt. I felt like the Colt, uh, as far as looks, I like the look of the Colt. Um, I, I like both of these guns. I think this gun, I like the way the flats on this thing are that polished like that. I, I actually like that. It's got actually this, uh, I guess that's a bead blast on top. I don't know what gives it the matted feel or, or, or whatever the finish. I, I know that the gun enthusiasts out there are probably screaming right now because I don't know what the right terminology is for that. But uh, what I liked about it, actually I'll go into it a little bit more later, but uh, I like the way the, the, the matted part of it feels when you're shooting. Um, the SIG, I'm kind of like Chad on as far as the looks. I, I like the looks equally on both of these, but for different reasons. Um, this one to me has a more stout look to it. The Colt has a little bit more of a classic look. This to me has more of a new look to it. Um, I guess it's, it's depending on what you like. I mean, the Colt has more classic features on it where this one, uh, the SIG actually tends to have a little bit more of a modern look and feel to it. So, I mean, it's, it, it, it's a great looking gun, but for, uh, for different reasons. Um, honestly, I have to say I give both of these guns a three as far as looks. Um, I think both of them are great looking guns. Um, again, for different reasons. But uh, they're both beautiful guns, and I, I don't have a problem with either one of them. Uh, feel and fit. Um, my fingers are a little bit long, so the Colt feels a little small in my hand. Now, we have to keep in mind, this is a backup gun. This is one that somebody like myself, if I'm carrying, I'm most likely going to carry on my ankle. So, uh, you know, I expect it to be small. It needs to be small for the purpose that it's serving. Uh, however, it does feel kind of small. It's a little narrow. If you look at the narrowness of the... Uh, the grips, the grips keep it kind of narrow. Uh, that's the widest part, obviously. The frame itself on the flats is relatively thin. Uh, I believe maybe three quarters of an inch if you look at it. And I think the actual gun itself with the uh, grips on it is less than an inch wide. So uh, yeah, it serves its purpose as far as concealability. Um, same, uh, the Colt, I mean, uh, the SIG, the same thing. I, I felt like it fit just fine. It seems like it's a little more, I guess, I don't know if it's in my head, but it's because it's just a little bit stouter gun. It actually weighs a little bit more. If you look at both of these guns side by side, you can see the way the, uh, the slides are made on these two guns. The Colt is actually tapered down uh, as a traditional 1911. The SIG has a standard SIG style on a 1911, the way it stays square and somewhat flat on top. And I believe it actually, the SIG weighs about three ounces more than the Colt. I know that's kind of splitting hairs, but nevertheless, uh, you know, it, there is a little bit of a difference if you're dealing with height and, uh, or weight or anything like that. Uh, overall, they both fit good. Again, I know what they're for. They're not my primary carry gun. I know they're a backup gun. Uh, so with that in mind, I don't have a problem with how either one of them felt or fit. Uh, I'd give both of them probably a three, uh, mainly because they're serving the purpose that they're supposed to serve. Now, as far as function goes, I didn't have a chambering problem, but in all fairness, I've shot both of these guns before. Um, I've not had a chambering problem with either one of them in the past either. But uh, again, it doesn't mean that anybody else did, any, did anything wrong. Um, I just, you know, I, I pull it back and I let it rack itself. So I, mine chambered fine. Um, I felt like the Colt, again, because it feels a little small in my hand, I think that the Colt, uh, as far as function, I'm more conscious of aiming it because it feels like I'm shooting a small gun. But the SIG, on the other hand, the SIG feels a little bit stouter, a little bit thicker in my hand. And I guess, I think I've 
I thought less about shooting. As far as functioning, both of them functioned just fine. I felt like the Colt actually shot a little bit low. My first two shots uh, were low. The first one I shot, I thought that it was operator. I aimed the bullseye the same spot again for the Colt. And my uh, second shot was not far off as far as being low as the Colt. So uh, I, I adjusted after that. So I have to say on accuracy, uh, keep in mind we're dealing with fixed sights on the Colt. Uh, they're actually, the front sight is built into the, uh, the slide. So uh, there's not a whole lot of adjustment you're gonna make with this thing. You just have to make that mental adjustment you know, when you're shooting uh, that you're gonna have to adjust and bring the barrel up a little bit. Uh, the SIG to me was a little bit inconsistent um, as far as accuracy goes. Again, uh, obviously a smaller gun's a little bit more of a challenge because you don't have the longer barrel or the velocity to give you a truer shot. So that may be why, again, we could probably attribute that to uh, operator error. So I'll say, uh, I'll say uh, um, I actually didn't hit any of the bullseye on the SIG. So I'll give it a two. But again, uh, realizing that I'm the one that was doing the shooting, uh, you could probably attribute that point that I'm taking off of each one of them to me and not necessarily the gun in that end. Picture Jesus as a ninja fighting off evil samurai. <laughs>